Clifford's best friend is pretty famous around here. His name is Majani. How many of you have actually heard of or perhaps seen Majani before? Nobody's ever heard of Majani before? Oh, there's a few, a few people up okay, here. Very good. Anyway, folks, Majani, for those of you that see cheetahs, you know, every day in your neighborhood, this is actually a really big cheetah. Johnny happens to be about 130 pounds, and that's uh, he's even lost a little bit of weight. He used to he maxed out around close to 140 pounds or something. <coughs> Majani and Clifford are best friends, and I should explain a few things too because when people come to Cheetah Tales, they see a couple things. They think, well, okay, I'm probably going to see a cheetah. That makes sense. Every now and again, too, I might stop short of talking because uh, those of you that are close can actually hear him purring. And uh, Majani, don't worry, we'll be able to walk around the whole place here. We're going to ask him to walk all over the place. So just because you're not right in front of the shade does not mean you're never going to see Majani very clearly. However, know that because the animals here at the park are in fact a little bit spoiled, Majani does enjoy the shade. Not even a very hot day today, and Majani does enjoy his shade. We always want to make sure it's a very positive situation for our animal ambassadors out here. Therefore, we allow him to uh, have a good time out here. Whenever you have him out and you're showing your guests, we insist that you have two leashes on this animal because he's going to be nearly 100 pounds. Like I said, Majani's a pretty big guy. He's about 130 pounds. Now, the, the problem with that is that the USDA, while they're looking out for your safety, they actually haven't read the latest cheetah biology books. Because what's going on is that this animal is, well, to give you an idea of the nature of the cheetah, they are often referred to as the chickens of the savannah. <laughs> the dog is not here to protect us from the crazy cheetah. The dog is here as a security blanket for the cheetah. The dog is here as a, a calming, soothing element for this animal that is naturally extremely coarse as opposed to Cliff being a domesticated animal. They're both enjoying some delicious popsicles right now, by the way. These are not strawberry flavored popsicles. They're strawberry flavored popsicles. Clifford already got through his. He uses his teeth instead of just his tongue. The, uh, the food that we get for our animals, though, our zoo carnivores, is a very high quality beef diet designed for zoo animals. Road in a more secluded area. We've actually had 132 births. I just think they're the most elegant of the big cats. Fastest land mammals. Most people are aware of that, but did you know they can get from zero to 60 in three seconds? That's faster than a Corvette. Now, besides our very successful captive breeding program, is a comfortable environment, so the animals want to reproduce. And we want to give all of you a nice reflection of the landscape of Africa. So we have marshes and lagoons. We have open savannas, even a desert and forest region. Lucy will be two years old in July. Let me pull up here a little farther and I'll stop for you. Now, being that these are extremely solitary animals, they have the, an exhibit entirely to themselves. Uh, even in the wild, they don't in, often encounter other species, and when they do, they're very aggressive. And we've tried a, of over 260 different species of birds in the park, some of them very rare. And on any given day, we have approximately 3,500 animals on the premises. So it's quite a busy day for the keeper. And I'm just going to be sharing some of those success stories with you throughout. I travel from the desert region to the marshlands. Northern white rhinos are the most endangered land mammals on the planet. There are literally only seven of them in the world now. The legal market, Rhino Horn is bringing as much as $36,000 a pound. And that kind of money is keeping poachers in business. Those are the Gumsbach. Heated for dominance last season and didn't make the cut. So they formed their own little group of up to 60 miles per hour. That's a challenge even for the cheetah. Though the cheetah is faster, it lacks endurance. Some special attention. What's a little surprising is that they have just seven vertebrae in their necks, the same as people. Uh, they are very, vid they're kind of the watchmen of the savannas. 
previously run things. Now those dark facial markings are called threat masks and this makes them look fierce to predators. A quick show of hands if you're familiar, well, maybe one or two of you. Um, well, roan antelope do that. They follow lions at a safe distance, and that way they know exactly where all the lions are every minute of the day. Definitely one of the ostrich's survival skills. Now, uh, coming up on the right hand side, Asia, Libya, and Algeria. They go so far back in history, they were all as a survival adaptation. Babies keep up with the herd at a dead. They get their name because they have a little fringe of black hair on the tips of their ears. And uh, as we mentioned their ears, they also have markings on their ears that mimic large eyes. Um, that's how they kind of fool predators. Uh, if they know they're being stalked, uh, they'll get into the brush, turn and face the predator, and put their ears straight out to the side. And to the predator, it looks like an enormous animal looking right back at them. <laughs> nice mimic job on the ears. Up on the foothills, those are East African crowned cranes. Get a little closer look at the uh, Rothschild's giraffes. Did you know that just recently giraffe tails have been showing up on the illegal market? Maybe baby hippos? I have seven crew members. Okay, one that's pretty fast. Mais pas peur, ils peuvent pas passer, il y a un grillage. Mais ils peuvent pas, ils peuvent pas t'atteindre, il y a un grillage. Wow, come here, look at that one. Look at that one. Yeah, right up there, it has like a blue and the underwing. The underwing sun and everything is gorgeous. Yes, it doesn't want to fly. Yes, it does.